came to. Ten days have passed since that terrible accident, but I only found you the day before yesterday. You were lying in the snow, and I brought you here. You've been asleep for two days, you know. I, I just can't figure it out. How did you manage to stay alive for eight days? Looks like you were eating regularly, too. So strange. I found you pretty far away from the crash site. Um, do you remember anything? I see. Uh, I'm Kimberly. Kimberly Fox. Talk to you more later. You must be tired. Seems like you're having a lot of nightmares, too. <gasps> what the?
You all right? I'm Parker. Parker Jackson. You two must be survivors of that plane crash. Are you hurt? Don't touch me. Get out of here. Just a minute. What, what do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of here. Wait. I haven't blossomed yet. Blossomed? Come on. Didn't it look like flowers were blooming from that monster? You both saw it, and there's more just like it out there. He's not the only one. What exactly? Who the hell knows? Some of them look like they might have been passengers from the crash. But the monsters got to them. And as you can see, they turn into... Monsters? Yeah. They blossom. They've turned into monsters, too. Get out. Look, I, I, like I said... I'll shoot. I swear I'll shoot. Look, unless we work together, we won't get out of here alive. I will shoot. All right, I'll go. Now. All right. I get it. But listen up. And listen good. You may be armed. But there's only one way to tell whether someone's human or not. And that's by the color of their blood. Those things bleed green, but to see it in blood, you've got no choice but to shoot. And you've got to do it fast because they'll be on you in a flash. We don't know much of anything yet. Should we shoot everything that looks like this creature? And what if it looks human and bleeds green? There may be monsters that bleed red for all we know. What are we supposed to do then? We don't know whether everything that looks like a monster always has green blood. Maybe some are still human inside. Maybe they can revert back to humans again. We don't have any answers. All I can say is, survive. Get out of this godforsaken place alive. Be careful, both of you. Watch your back. I'm sorry. I wish... If I could... same boat, I guess. I just don't know what to do, or how to do it. Maybe that man feels the same way. Everyone who survived feels that way. They had no idea what to do. Maybe you're better off than others, not remembering anything. Hey, do you remember anything Anything about Janny? Hmm? Janny! The little girl I found you with. You were both lying there. In the snow. 
And you were trying to protect her. I brought you both back here. But she wandered off when I wasn't looking. She may know something about you. And she may still be around here, just hiding. Maybe you could take a look outside. You won't be able to walk too far in the snow. And the area is surrounded by forest and a sheer drop, but... I'll wait here. Be careful, okay? So I 
I guess we better stay on our guard at all times to survive. To feed the flame of instinct with the fuel of life, was the way he put it. The reason why consuming meat gives the body strength is because the urge to kill and the energy of life embodies the flesh. <laughs> or something like that. I, well, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is to eat a lot and get better soon. <laughs> Come on. Aim straight and take a shot. You got it. Shoot that way. Um, there's two more over there. You're way better than me. I think you've got what it takes to be a great hunter. You can put the game you caught in this portable cooker. It automatically cleans and cooks the meat. So you can eat whenever you're hungry. It's pretty good. Much better than stale bread. I'm gonna go get a little rest now.
Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a good birthday, Grandpa.
She didn't find Jenny. Where could she be? There's nothing else around here except the stone hut. And I already looked there. There's the crash site, but I don't think you should go there. There's only... You'll only see things of the brutal aftermath. The snow must have given those poor people a proper burial by now. If you are going to the stone hut, use this key to open the cabinet inside. I locked it because I didn't want the monsters to get any of the weapons in there. Be careful. I'm tired. I'm going to rest a little.
try to get the news through the radio, but we're too high up for that. A news flash from the world of the living won't do as much good anyway. But, you know what, I got an idea. I think there's something here that we can both use. Wanna hear it? It's called... <laughs> Counting the roses. I actually wrote the lyrics, believe it or not. I'm a poet. <laughs> Someone who happened to read a poem of mine wrote and recorded this tune. I even got a letter once from someone who heard the song. Poetry to me. so much to go there. 
about my life. I had a second chance. I wouldn't want to be born as myself again. tape player and a pulverized poem of mine. <laughs> How depressing. And I thought a little music would be good for our morale. <sighs> you know, there's something else I don't understand. It's been ten days since the accident. So why hasn't any help arrived? Can you remember anything? I mean, anything at all from the last eight days. You must have been with someone else. I couldn't make it out, but... You were calling someone's name. I wonder what could have happened to Jenny. We can only find her. You know, she, she might know about this other person. I'm sure of it.
The turbulence is the original ETA at St. Charles. Autopilot engaged. Can you get me right on the schedule? Can you your seat up Thank 
finally beginning to turn for the better. Right? Laura? Hmm? <laughs> Surprised? <laughs> you never told me your name. But that must be your name. This is yours, isn't it? I found it by the bed. It's engraved. To Laura from your mother Lucy. Does that bring... Anything back? Lucy. That's your mother's name. Does it ring any bells? C c can you remember? Can you remember her? What's she like? What does she look like? I bet she was very kind to you. When I found you lying in the snow, you were holding it as if it were so precious. During those two days, you were unconscious. You held this close and kept calling out someone's name. A man's name. Laura? Laura! Laura, are you awake? gift from your mother. Are you hurt? You don't seem to have any serious injuries. You should be on your feet in no time. Do you remember the plane crash? Our plane went down after being hit by a meteorite. 
The strange thing is, your compact started to glow just moments before impact. And I had a vision of a burning rock colliding with the jet. Without thinking, I grabbed your arm, and the next thing I knew, we were on this mountain. I managed to carry you down to this small cabin. David. David Brenner. Laura. Laura. Laura, can you hear me? you would sleep for another two days straight. I was just getting used to having a friend. Don't leave me alone again, okay? Come on, let's go back to the cabin. Who knows? Maybe we'll find Janny fast asleep in bed. To Laura, the best possible friend gained in the worst possible circumstance. I'm feeling much better, thanks to you. I've gone to look for gas, hoping that you will recall your past very, very soon. Kimberly.
and swim. I should have left you alone. Are you all right? I remember there was a trailer in front of what looked like a mining facility. That's where I went. Unfortunately, the gas tank was empty. There was nothing left. Laura, there was nothing else you could have done. Please, please don't blame yourself. It may have seemed that that, that 
thing was Janny's grandfather, but he'd already blossomed. Laura, it's no use thinking about it now. We should concentrate on finding Janny and getting out of here. Look, it'll be completely dark soon. I'm going out again to look for gasoline. You should rest a little. very popular these days. It helps me relax and somehow seems to make everything crystal clear. I guess it sort of frees you. <laughs> Maybe it'll even bring your memory back.
What's in here? What the hell are you hiding in here? I don't know nothing, I swear! For Christ's sake, put the shotgun down! I swear I don't know anything! Larry and I are not terrorists! He started it. Talking nonsense about how he was going to resurrect the shadow. How the hell was I supposed to know what he was talking about? Shadow? Larry's on some bad stuff. He's been hanging out with this... Weird sorcerer going on and on about how they're going to build a perfect world. This creep's got us on the same stuff. This Linda crap. And it's like, you're gone. You see weird stuff like a huge seed stuck inside ice that shines. You know what I'm saying? When I saw it, I just knew it was the shadow. No one told me. I just felt it. So I really don't know anything. All my buddies got killed in that crash. And Larry's turned into one of those damn monsters. I don't know if that means he's dead or alive, man. He even tried to eat me, you know that? What am I supposed to do now? You gotta help me. I don't know anything. Nothing at all. All, all this happened because of Larry and Linda. You really don't know anything. Yes. I swear. Hey, you and me, we can get out of here together, huh? You're one tough broad. I've always had a thing for strong women, too. Hey, say, why don't we pop some Linda and do a little of this, huh? <laughs> Come on. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Ain't no way any monster is gonna eat me. But a good-looking woman like you, that's different.
Oh, my God. 